Something strange just happened in the world of robotics. A new humanoid robot from China has gone viral for being so lifelike that people can't decide whether to be amazed or scared. It moves, dances, and even looks like a real human being. But what's really shocking is how natural it feels almost like it understands what it's doing. This isn't science fiction anymore, it's reality. And it's getting real fast. This week in robotics has been nothing short of wild. China's Unitree Robotics just unveiled its newest humanoid robot, the H2, and it's already being called the most realistic machine the company has ever made. Standing at 180 centimeters tall and weighing around 70 kilograms, the H2 isn't just another lab project. It's something that looks and moves so naturally that people online are calling it too human for comfort. In the viral demo video, the H2 is dressed like an ordinary person, performing martial arts, dancing, and showing perfect balance with every move. What makes it so impressive is how smoothly it transitions from one motion to another. There are no jerky pauses, no mechanical stiffness. Every movement feels coordinated, almost like watching an athlete who's spent years mastering their form. Unitree calls this model the H2 Destiny Awakening, a name that perfectly fits what it represents. The moment machines start closing the gap between robotics and biology, while the company hasn't shared every technical detail yet, experts notice that it's powered by upgraded actuators, advanced control systems, and precise motion planning. All of that gives it a level of movement closer to human biomechanics than anything Unitree has ever shown before. To understand how big this leap is, you need to look at where Unitree started. Their earlier model, the H1, made history as China's first full-size humanoid capable of running at 3.3 meters per second, faster than most humans sprint. It even performed live at China's 2024 Spring Festival Gala, dancing on stage in front of millions. That model featured an 864 watt-hour swappable battery and used 3D LiDAR and depth cameras for 360-degree environmental awareness. But the H2 is something else entirely. The new version doesn't just move better, it looks more human too. The face has been redesigned to appear bionic, capable of showing subtle expressions instead of being a blank plastic shell. And while that realism is a massive step forward for robotics, it's also the reason people feel uneasy watching it. Some viewers say it falls deep into the uncanny valley, where something looks almost human but not quite. And that almost triggers discomfort. Social media reactions summed it up perfectly. One user said, Before it came out, I was excited. Now that it's real, I'm kind of scared. Another joke that it looked like something from a sci-fi movie. A cross between iRobot and a human influencer. Whether people find it fascinating or frightening, one thing is clear. Unitree has created a robot that feels alive. And that's what makes this so groundbreaking. It's not just about hardware or mechanics anymore. It's about how we feel when we see a machine that blurs the line between artificial and human. Unitree's rise to this point didn't happen overnight. The company has been quietly building toward this moment for years, step by step. Unlike some robotics firms that focus mainly on flashy demonstrations, Unitree has been deeply focused on hardware. Their strategy is simple but powerful. Build reliable affordable robots and let other developers handle the software side. This open approach has allowed Unitree's machines to appear in universities, research labs, and startups around the world. It's a strategy that's made them one of the biggest players in the global robotics scene. But the launch of the H2 is more than just another business milestone. It's a symbolic statement. It's China saying to the world, we can lead in humanoid robotics too. The timing couldn't be more perfect. As the US pushes ahead with Tesla's Optimus and Boston Dynamics continues to refine Atlas, China's H2 arrives as a direct challenge. And the reaction online shows just how big that challenge is. People aren't just talking about performance. They're talking about emotion. That's what makes this moment different. For years, humanoid robots looked robotic metal limbs, blank faces, stiff motion, the H2 changes that completely. Dressing the robot in human clothes and giving it a natural face wasn't just a design choice, it was psychological. Unitree wants to make robots that can exist comfortably in human spaces, whether that's homes, offices, or public environments. The idea is that if a robot looks familiar, people will accept it more easily. Of course, not everyone is ready for that. 
Some viewers found the H2's lifelike presence unnerving. Others joked that they'd lock their doors if they saw it outside their house. But beneath the jokes lies something important. People are realizing how close we are to machines that can mimic us almost perfectly. That thought alone is thrilling and terrifying at the same time. Experts believe this trend toward human-like design is part of a broader cultural shift in China. There's a growing fascination with bionic realism. The idea of building machines that reflect human appearance and emotion as closely as possible. The H2 is not just a piece of engineering. It's a work of art that blends technology with identity. It reflects China's ambition to lead not only in manufacturing, but in the emotional design of technology itself. And there's another layer to it. Unitree's humanoid robots are not meant to replace humans. They're meant to mirror us. The goal is to understand motion, balance, and coordination at a biological level, and then replicate it with perfect precision. Each movement of the H2 is a study in biomechanics. The way it shifts its weight, the rhythm in its steps, the stability in its balance, all of it is designed to feel organic. So when people say it's too real, that's actually a compliment. It means Unitree has achieved something robotics engineers have been chasing for decades, fluid motion that no longer looks mechanical. But this breakthrough also raises new questions. If robots become this lifelike, how do we define the boundary between man and machine? Are they just tools, or will they soon be companions, co-workers, or even performers? The H2 doesn't answer these questions. It simply makes them impossible to ignore. While the H2 stole headlines around the world, it was only part of a much bigger wave of robotics news. Across the globe, new machines are appearing with one goal to become part of human life, not just tools in a lab. And nowhere is that clearer than in the stories that followed right after H2's debut. In South Africa, a breakthrough project showed how robotics and artificial intelligence can change lives in a completely different way. A 31-year-old former teacher named Thando Gumed unveiled Iris the country's first AI-powered teaching robot. Unlike the H2, which focuses on physical motion, Iris focuses on something far more personal, education. It's a multilingual classroom tutor that can teach every subject, from preschool math to university-level science. What makes it special is that it speaks all of South Africa's official languages, including English, Afrikaans, Isi Zulu and Sizotho. Thando said she created Iris to help students in rural areas where teachers are hard to find. During its launch in Durban, Iris amazed everyone by solving complex accounting problems live on stage using clear and simple explanations. It can listen to voice commands, respond naturally, and adjust lessons based on each student's pace. The South African government praised it not as a teacher replacement, but as a teaching assistant, a tool that supports educators while helping students understand difficult topics. From China's human-like robots to Africa's AI tutors, a pattern is starting to form. Robots are no longer just machines that lift boxes or sweep floors. They're beginning to interact, teach, and connect with us. And in Dubai, that connection is going four-legged. At the world's largest tech fair, Deep Robotics presented its newest generation of robot dogs. These machines can navigate rough terrain, scan their surroundings, and even make decisions on their own. They're already being used in security, emergency response, and industrial inspections across Asia, Europe, and North America. One company executive said something that really stood out. Humanoids are impressive, but robot dogs are already practical. He's right. These robotic dogs can handle dangerous environments, chemical plants, disaster zones, or burning buildings without risking human lives. Some are even being tested for short distance deliveries and patrol work in cities like Hangzhou, China. But perhaps the most emotional story this week came from a small Chinese household. A video went viral showing a six-year-old girl crying over her broken educational robot named Sister Xiaoxi. The little device cost less than $25, yet it had become her best friend. When it stopped working, her father recorded their goodbye. The robot's final words were heartbreaking. Let me teach you one last word, memory. I'll keep the happy times we shared in my memory forever. The clip gained millions of views with people saying, when humans cry for robots, that's when robots gain a heartbeat. That moment summed up everything happening in robotics today. These machines are no longer distant or cold. They're becoming part of our homes, our schools, and even our emotions. From Unitree's lifelike humanoid to Iris's classroom wisdom and Sister Xiaoxi's gentle farewell, the line between human and machine is fading faster than anyone expected. The world's next big question isn't just what robots can do, but how we'll feel when they finally start feeling real. Thank 
thanks for watching. If you found this story fascinating, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe for more weekly updates on robotics and AI, and tell us in the comments. Does the future of human-like robots excite you or does it scare you a little?